Hey everyone, this is Lutz and today I'm going to show you how to set up a web stream using your camera and your Raspberry Pi that you can use every browser to see what your camera is seeing. So let's start! So the first thing we gotta do is we have to install the camera to our Raspberry before we start the Raspberry. After we have installed the camera, we have to go to the configuration of our Raspberry. We do this typing in sudo raspberry config and then we give it the password for the super user. Then we go for interface options, camera, and we enable the camera. And then we close this and reboot our Raspberry. Next thing we gotta do is we have to install the packages we need for our program. So we type in sudo apt install python3 minus pi camera and also python pi camera. We give the password with super user. And in my case, I don't have anything to do because I'm already at the newest version. But if you are not, just perform this installation. So the next thing we got to do is we have to transfer some small scripts. I will give you in the description of the video. These we need for the streaming of the website. So we type in SCP and the name of the file we want to transmit. So in my case, that's stream.python and we give it the IP address where we want to send it and then we give the destination of your folders then you give your password and the transmission is done and we do it again for the other file this name is webstream.service and we give it again the password and then we can check in our Raspberry if the files are there and they are available. So then we can start the web stream just for a quick check if it's working. So we type in Python 3 and then the name of the stream. And in my case it seems to be running. So we can go to the website of the Raspberry Pi and it's working. So, perfect. We can stop the script. If this is not working at your Raspberry, you have to check if your user is in the correct groups. So, you just can type in groups and you have to be in the group of video. If you are not in the video group, you have to add your user to the group. So you can do this just with the user mod command and user mod minus ag and then the name of the group and your username so it's simply the way it works and for this you need administration rights so yeah be sure that you have it what we did now is that we start a website but we just wanted to start the website that it's running when we start our raspberry and not just that we have to turn something on so what we do is that we install a small service and we can do this by using a service or we can do this by using a cron tab like I did in the previous videos. This time I will use a service that has the advantage that we can stop and start the service whenever we like to. If we do it in a cron job it's a bit more complicated. So we just go there, we have to make some adaptions for you. So in the script you have to be sure that you have the correct location. In my case I did a mistake. That one needs to be in the other direction. So I will correct this for the script that will give you in the description. And then we just write it out. And you need to be sure that you have here set the correct username and the location of the script. So if you did this correct then we can copy the script to the destination. So we do sudo copy and the name of the service. And this is going to the system and system. Here we go. 
And then we can start the service. This one goes with system control. And then start. Oh no, we first need to, uh, to restart, reload the daemon. And after this, we can start it. So, it's web stream. And then we can check for the state. And it's running. So now we can check at our website if everything is working. And we see the stream is again here. So now this is running over the service. What we can do now is that we make it available after restart. So we just type in system control and enable web stream. And give it again the permission. And don't do a typo. And now it's available after restart. We can just try it by typing restart. So when you're back in your system, we can check if the website is working now. And it is. So we can also check if the stream is working. So it's the same again. We just say, or we just can do it like this. We just go here and see if the status is that the service is running. If you want now to stop the service, you can also use the stop command. So it's the same that we just put in stop and the web stream service and give it your password. And then the website is dead. So you can just turn it on again by using the start command and then it's working. So. Yeah, that was all for today. I hope you liked this one. If you want to learn more about Raspberry Pi, here's my full playlist where you can see all the other things I did before. And hope to see you next time. Goodbye.